Or good evening whenever this video is going up it's travel day to orlando florida and i can't believe i'm saying that i'm so grateful i'm so excited to go on holiday with rye i can't wait and it, ah, it's just um um i have no words i'm so excited i look very tired in the face as her on a travel day we came to the premier in last night in manchester um we actually worked yesterday um usually i take usually we'd like take the day off the day before but we were like oh we don't need to like take a whole day's leave like it's fine we'll just um we'll work it and then we got here about half past nine last night i was very tired i'm not gonna lie um but we had a nice relaxing evening and um yeah we just woken up we're getting ready, we've got the shuttle booked downstairs to take us from the Premier in here um, to the airport. Ryan's currently in the shower. It's all, it's all happening. I've got the cases open over here. Well, my two cases. Everything's pretty much sorted and the last minute bits and bobs that I've just been using and chargers and things are ready to go in there. And yeah, I can't wait. So we're flying with Virgin Atlantic. I'm very looking forward to the flight. And um, I've got my book with me. I'm prepped. I'm, I'm ready to watch some films. I haven't even looked to see what kind of, what they've got on the in-flight entertainment. It hasn't really sunk in yet that we're going. And there's like a massive storm there at the minute. Like it's been raining for the last several days in Florida. And it gives it like a lot of rain the next couple of days as well. So it might be very cozy when we get there. We'll feel like we've entered Florida properly. I feel like last year when we went to Florida, when we got there, we went to Disney Springs in the evening and it hammered it down. We were like, oh, the excitement. Because <laughs> when it rains there, it really goes for it. So that'll be interesting. So see, but I'm gonna just kind of finish getting myself sorted now. And then we're gonna grab the shuttle to the airport and then I will catch up with you a little bit later. We're downstairs in the Premier Inn, waiting for our shuttle. I'm excited we've got about 10 minutes, so it's here on time. There he is. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, I'm just tired. Yeah, I am too. We were just saying in the lift, I went, oh, the bags. And he was like, yeah. He went, but I have to, and I was like, no matter how much sleep we get, I swear we just always have bags. It's, it's age, isn't it? We're getting old. <laughs> Very excited. It's really windy outside. It's grey and dull. Right, we've checked in. We've made it through security. I got flagged as usual. I don't know why. We think it was my belly bar. It does it all the time because I've not got anything else. It wasn't too stressful, but I was getting a bit hot, you know, when you're like trying to frantically get all your bits and your laptop and that back in your bag and lots of people, but it was all good, all smooth process. So we're just gonna find somewhere to have a breakfast now. What are you thinking? Um, amber ale. I, want like, I don't mind. I don't want the first time ever. I feel like I want like a full English as well. Yeah? Whatever you want. I'm easy. I'll eat anything, so. Yeah, we'll have a look, find, see what we can find. Oh, okay. We've come to the Bridgewater Exchange Manchester, which is a nice little pub place. We've got, we're in a little booth, and then behind we've got like the big windows where the planes are taking off. I think in here, what have we got? American pancakes, different pancakes, French toast. We've got, we've got, oh, smashed avocado, granola bowls, pastries. I might get some eggs, smoked salmon and scrambled eggs on toast, sounds good. Or as eggs benedict, which I love. Or no, eggs royale. I might get the eggs royale. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. What are you gonna have? Like a full English? They do like the big breakfast, the number one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the big breakfast, but I don't know how many sausages or bacon you get. I assume you get maybe like two of each or something. I would say so, yeah. 
What time is it? Very good. Yeah. What time is it? It's mimosa time, baby. <laughs> you have had a mimosa at Christmas, right? It is good. So good. But we treat us. That was that was expensive. What were these? Ten quid each. When on holiday, <laughs> ten pound each. That, that's the only one we'll be getting. A little celebratory uh, drink, free travel. My breakfast has come out. This looks really nice. It's very hot. We've got eggs royale. So we've got the smoked salmon under there. And this is Ryan's breakfast. It looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, so we're just going to enjoy this and um, just chill because we've got plenty of time. <laughs> the knives, I mean, I don't know if it's picking it up. The, the cutlery is so tiny, like the little baby knives. That one actually looks a bit gruffy, I'm not going to lie. I'm going get, to get a new one there. But it's so cute and tiny. <laughs> Having a little gander around the shops, aren't we? Hmm? Having a little gander around the shops. We definitely won't be getting anything except for probably like water and that for the plane. But these look, I love the Just display the of these perfumes. Well. Yeah, like 187 pounds. Love the really style cool of the bottles, though. yeah, like the animal heads and stuff. They're gorgeous. Very cute. This is probably more our price range. We've gone from a £187 bottle of perfume to a £1.80 bottle of water. <laughs> it, yeah, it is, but definitely want to hydrate on the plane get the water. It's our gate. Waiting now. So what time is it? It's like 25 past 12. There was a flight before us that's boarded for Orlando and then ours is in, well it's due to take off 10 minutes earlier than planned so it's due to take off in an hour's time. So we've just boarded. We've just got sat down on the plane. I'm so excited. I didn't plan watch any airport because obviously we restricted any space. Oh my gosh. Ready? <laughs> oh. You alright, right? We're all ready. We've got all the bits. I'm just gonna wipe, have a little wipe down in a minute. Look out there. We're ready. Woo! <laughs> to be fair, the space isn't too bad, but if that chair comes back anymore, I'm limited. I think you're looking right. I don't think it's. I think we're just about there, so I think. I don't think anyone's sat next to you. Got a, um, spare seat. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Insurance captain speaking. Now, uh, my name is David Tryman. On behalf of First Line, the rest of the team, I'd like to add my welcome to our First Line service flight 73. Nine hours ago. Nine hours ago. Uh, with me, the flight is.
not being a clown. <laughs> <laughs> We've got zero hours and zero minutes to go with Ada. Well, welcome to Orlando. Welcome to Orlando. It's just gone 26 minutes past five in the afternoon. Please do keep your seatbelt fast until the captain turns off our fast seatbelt signs. You can now turn <laughs> off the flight mode on your mobile devices, but please refrain from smoking. Get it done. Until you reach a designated smoking area. Woo! -hoo. Woo! Ready to get on the tram. <laughs> If I could run with you And from what I have heard you do the same thing too I wanna say forever We could be good too We made it! And we're back in here though we've not been in here since 2019 have we? Look how beautiful it is! It's very blurry on my um, camera lens. It takes a little moment just to um, focus. But now we're here and over there is a Halloween Horror Nights shop. Can we have a little sneaky look in before we go get a car? Mm -hmm. Just to get us excited. The flight was actually, it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah. The flight was smooth, it was fine. We were just a bit tired, it's long, isn't it? But yeah, staff were great, the flight itself was great. And yeah, I can't fault it. And I'm just so happy to be here. I can't wait to just start the holiday now. Let's go have a little nosy in that shop, see what we can find. Look at this. This is so cool. It's not like massive, but the fact they've done this as a dedicated horror night shop is incredible. This is our first sneak peek of the merch in person. We've seen it. This is the one I think I am gonna get. I'm not gonna obviously get it now. I think I'll have a look in all the shops properly, but that's the one I've seen online that I absolutely love. They've got loads. Look at this one. This is the season. Amazing. Ryan's already looking at hats. <laughs> hey, I like this jumper, Ryan. Look at that, it's like a spirit jersey, that's cool. What is it? Is it just like... Is it? It's just high up, isn't it? Oh, that's cool, and it goes in the dark. Love. Look at these joggers as well. Oh, cool. And got... That's a different Hellfire t-shirt, isn't it? I like the style of that one. That's fun. Yeah, I love all the pumpkins. Hey, that's cool. I love that. Is that a bow? <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. It says press here, but it lights up. $20. How much is the cap? $28. They're really cool. I'll just show you all around the shop. Look at all of the decor in here. Oh my goodness, in front of me I've got the Surfer Boy, boy Pete, Surfer Boy Pizza from Stranger Things in the t-shirt. I've got a doll's house flashing up there, right? Look. Yeah. This is so amazing. We've got Chucky bits here. Look at that bag. Oh my goodness. I'm having to look these through. Ah, see what the... I might have to get that. Oh my goodness, it's The Last of Us. <gasps> okay, yeah, I'm getting that. Are you going to get it now or are you no, going to hold fire? I'm going to get it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness, Roy, look at this. <laughs> That's really cool. They've put dungarees separately. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's me, to be honest, but I love it. It's pretty cool. Here's another view of the shop from this angle. We're just getting in our car, we're gonna give this a go, see if that works and um, hopefully we can skip the queue. Oh my God. Ryan has sorted it out, we're gonna head over to Alamo bit now and pick up a car. We've just walked out for the first time and it's like a reptile house. It is pissing it down with rain, um, but it's so, so humid, it's unbelievable. But yeah, it's, um, it's doing the good old Florida thing and it's raining, so let's go get our car. We've got a compact car so we could pick any from this row so we've picked the biggest one of the biggest ones um because of our suitcases so just going to do a little rally around the car just so i can pick up any marks or anything on it that's already there 
but yeah it looks like a lovely car process was nice and quick and easy <sighs> we'll get loaded up we just does it not we're just checking at the minute to see if this one has car play um we'll see it'd be easier to just plug the phone in and um do the maps we'll see okay so something just happened we've um, got a new car i'll i'll tell you in the car <laughs> But I, I really like this one, right? This one's pretty. <laughs> well, he said this is the, like in the sports section. Oh, is it? Oh, fancy. Uh, I think you're right. Can it not open? Is it not sensor? There's like a... Oh. All the drama of learning the new car. Oh, honestly, I'm sweating. I'm so hot. <laughs> Fabulous. Are you okay now? Yes. <laughs> Chill. Well, I was worried about the car. I'm not bothered about cars. Yeah. Car yeah, yeah, yeah. They see on. So basically, it was it wasn't that dramatic. We were um, the car I showed you, perfect. It was fine. Um, but the big screen, I thought, well, that's obviously got CarPlay. It didn't have a built-in sat nav. It didn't have CarPlay, and then the Bluetooth just didn't work and connect to our phone. So we asked the guy if they had any other cars that had CarPlay specifically because obviously Ryan can drive five fine around here but he needs he needs maps he needs to navigate and we haven't got anywhere to prop up the phone so we just asked him are we able to see what cars have CarPlay and then how much it would cost to obviously upgrade the car and the guy kindly showed us around here and we just said how much it was and he said no I'm not going to charge you so we were like you sure and he was like no no he wrote his name down on the thing, so hopefully we don't have any issues. He was like, just show that. So that was very, very kind of him. Seems a bit too good to be true, if I'm honest, but we'll see. Um, but we've got a very lovely car. Uh, what, what car is it? It's a Dodge Charger. A Dodge Charger? A GT. Mm. It's, it's in the sports section, did you say? <laughs> so that's what, well, that's what feeling, you said. Feeling fancy. I like the other one, to be fair. That was fine. That was a full, that was like a mid range car in the compact section. So that's what we we're originally gonna have, but yeah, yeah. I think it was a Nissan Versa or yeah. a Toyota Corolla, maybe. To be honest, I'm not really bothered what kind of car we have as long as it fits our stuff in it and um, it has like the navigation system that we need. But it was just a little bonus that was that we um, got a cheeky little upgrade there. Lovely. My skin feels wet. <laughs> it's so muggy. <sighs> so we're just gonna have a moment, and Ryan's gonna do his usual stuff and drive us to our hotel. I'm excited, Coco Keys never stayed there. Hopefully, it's all good. And um, what time is it? It's eight minutes past seven in the evening now, our, our time. So, yeah, I feel like it's all been pretty smooth. Um, collecting our bag, going through customs, it was all very quick, really. It was all very smooth. Um, Alamo, we did try that QR fit, QR code check-in and um, it wouldn't work on the phone because Ryan put in all the details and then it, because we were past the time of collection it said it was unable to do it because it was already in the past. But then he tried the little kiosk um, things and did it on the touch screen and then that worked so we skipped the queue by doing it anyway. So everything's been good. was growling then <laughs> God. it's literally like when you had the mustang right it's, crazy. it's growling <laughs> oh God. what's on my left and right no just take it easy the yeah that that them clouds it was storm we've just come into the storm it's um yeah it's crazy it's coming down so quick recognize this road the golden corral the mackies is over there I'm just going to the flow of traffic now so we aren't we pretty much next door to the rose in it yeah yeah so we're over that way hotel, yeah 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 on the international drive. fabulous we've literally just found our room and walked in this is nice i love it I'll show you outside when we go get, we haven't brought our suitcases in yet. We literally just jumped out of the car to see where we are. But we've got a little pool view there. This is cute, isn't it, Rye? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's really spacious. 
It's massive. Yeah, I mean, there's like, I'm not fussy about this kind of thing. Like, you know, it's a bit scuffed on places on this headboard and stuff, but it's just, yeah, it smells really lovely. It smells really clean. There's a random, uh, very weird placement of a microwave on here, but we can pick that up and move it out of the way because we won't be using it. <laughs> bit strange but you know if you want a microwave we've got it we can just put that somewhere else but the spe i can't believe how big it is we've got massive mirror here oh oh what's that door right what's that why is there a door here is that an interconnecting room i don't really get that turn to deadbolt obviously we want it locked so you can't I'm guessing it's just like an interconnecting thing. We don't want to open it, obviously, if it is flat, but yeah. Got in here, it's a bath, shower, loo situation. Nice sink. Little toiletries like this, and a hairdryer. These are all very cutesy. Yeah, we don't need to get in, it's fine. I don't know I'm guessing it is just that. We'll just need to make sure it's, um, it's fully locked, no one can get in. They've got iron up here, a little mini I wonder if they've got a board anywhere. I don't know. The only thing is, there isn't a wardrobe space. That's the only thing. Oh, yeah. Which isn't an issue. Maybe that is the wardrobe. Mm, no. Shoot, no. no there isn't a wardrobe. That's the only downside, but it's not, it's not end of the world. We've only got three drawers. Oh, okay, well. okay, so that's the only downside is the storage. We've only got the three drawers. We've got the safe oh, we've fridge. Right there as well. Yeah, we've got drawers. We'll be alright. There's a lot of floor space in that. Yeah, that is the only downside because there's so much space in here that you could definitely fit a um, little mini single wardrobe, probably where that mirror is. But, Ryan, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> don't think maybe that it's a board or something. yeah maybe or just yeah for it, connecting room but yeah i'm happy we've got space under here we can just um pop our suitcases wherever we've got one of those to pop it on i'm sure we will find the space yeah what they could have done in here for storage is like if it was one of the beds we've like which had put space to push under could have done with that but all in all very happy get that Turned on, there we go, we've got coziness on. I'm gonna just shut those um, blinds. Where's the little twizzly? Oh yeah, there is. How do you... Uh, where's the twizzly thing? <laughs> the thing to actually shut them. Oh, I did it, I just pulled it. <laughs> there you go. <sighs> so yes, very happy bunny. Um, is that it? Yeah, you just literally pull it like that. People can still see it. Mm, we'll, we'll fiddle with it. Did you do it fully? Oh, well, I just pulled it. You pull it a bit tighter. Oh. No. There we go. Fabulous. So yeah, really happy. We're just going to go back to the car in a second and drag our suitcases over here. Um, do you think the plan of action is to just literally unpack the bits that need to go into the safe? And then yeah. um, we can go straight out to Walmart or wherever and get some bits. Because I don't want to, and then we can pack, unpack properly when we get back and have a shower and freshen up properly. Because it's getting late, isn't it? So we'll do that. Right, let's go get our bags. So I've just walked out of our room here and got pool literally there. How cool is that? So nice. So just gonna walk back to the car and get our suitcases a little vending machines down here that's actually really handy to know actually and they take just a card it's still pouring with rain i think oh it's not as bad ah it's not as bad it's not raining as much now is it i wonder where you went you just walked off with the usual I was just um, showing the little pool at the side. The car parking thing. Yeah, it's a massive complex here. It's huge. So, pretty chuffed with it. 
<laughs> on that van they've got like a little skeleton hanging off it <laughs> really funny and there's a Chuck E. Cheese over there Chuck E. Cheese <sighs> how do we open this is it censored I don't, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> oh can that you have to actually use the key oh okay <laughs> never mind here we go oh my gosh look at all the water god do you want me to just hold that because yours is like a material one right i'm gonna put the camera away actually right back in the car literally shoved things into the safe that needed to the rest of the suitcases are on the bed and um we're heading to walmart to get stuff because time's just disappeared it's now half past eight so we want to go there get like water and things that we need for the room um and that and then and we food. can and food yeah we want to get something to eat something easy to eat and then we can get back properly shower unpack and prep ourselves for tomorrow so that's the plan and look at the view it's eased off raining now um but I'm still in disbelief that we're here to be honest. Call the lights. The biggest McDonald's in the world. <laughs> oh dear. All clothing's wrestling shop. I don't know if you've seen that last year. What is it? A wrestling shop? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh. I remember oh. seeing that um, last year. No, I don't remember seeing it. But we usually just came over and went in that way though, didn't we? So we didn't probably wouldn't have taken notice of it but it was pretty cool different i can't believe i have got my jumper on it's raining that's why i put it back on but honestly it's like 30 degrees it's so humid it's unbelievable but we've made it to walmart camera lens is probably gonna fog up it's to be fair from what i can see in the viewfinder it's not too bad at the minute but ryan's glasses he's changed to his contacts now his glasses were constantly doing your head in one you're like i can't see i can't see anything i was like you need little window wipers on your glasses to sort you out yeah. is walmart we made it i need to get all the bottles of water keep hydrated i think the plan is after here is go find a steak and shake drive through Get a cheeky little burger and a shake, take it back to the room. That'll do us dandy, won't it? <laughs> Pumpkins are out in here. Look at the size of them, they're massive. We're on the hunt for those like little pumpkin. Ooh, got orange sugar cookies, right? Um, we're on the hunt for the little pumpkin pies and stuff. Oh my god, they are! They are! They're like little sliders, that's cute. They're little sweet rolls around the pastry sections oh my goodness look at them strawberry rolls like cinnamon rolls but strawberry here they are it's like that's the sweet potato one is have they got the pumpkin ones they've got big ones they don't have oh they've not got a little pumpkin one we can't buy a big one <laughs> that would be insane they've got blueberry pie <laughs> it's massive though. We only wanted like a little one to share. We'll be eating pumpkin pie all week. We need these <laughs> pumpkin sandwich cookies. Can we try them? Oh my god, look at this a cookie assorted platter. They've got little leaves, cookies. Oh, I love all the autumn bits. I don't know, what are them ones? sugar cookies are they they're pumpkin ones right that's too many that's massive they're like pumpkin ones that's so cool i mean there's a lot of those as well but i don't look as overwhelming as them ones <laughs> honey buns <laughs> big pack of honey buns what are these little bites pumpkin muffins <laughs> oh dear there's so many. That's basically what we've got, isn't it? But apparently, pumpkin flavour. The zebra cakes. Oh dear. There's just so much crap, basically, isn't there, in here? <laughs> and I say crap as in like all the sugar stuff, all the unhealthy processed stuff. Yeah, we're gonna grab some breakfast bars just to have in the room. Um, what are they? What chocolate chip ones? Oh. Potential, yeah, a bit, an oat bar. We like them. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll get some of those. Yeah, we'll get some of them just to have in the room. Look at all the Ritz stuff. <laughs> so many. The back boxes are all massive. <laughs> We've come over here to have a little wall display of autumn and in there it's Christmas oh my gosh you're not joking right when you said the inflatables look at the gingerbread man like it's oh, insane but yeah they've got some really pretty bits over here for autumn and Thanksgiving harvest look at the little guy I love these very cute oh a lot of it's already gone the size of them skeletons. Oh, there's more down here, right? <laughs> All the Halloween stuff. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. We've got dog costumes. Look at that one. <laughs> this is so funny. Why have they got... Oh my God, Kipper needs it. <laughs> can wear his little sombrero. Like, oh, bless him. No, don't you stretch it. Suits here. <laughs> oh my God. I think it's eight dollars. No, he does not need it. He's not going to wear that, is he? <gasps> so give him the little, the hat, the little hat I know, I just, did you not just see that? No. Flows down there. Look, they've got a little. We're not getting him a hat. Could get him this. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. I love that there's a whole dog section here. Oh, they've got pumpkin spice dog biscuits. Should we get him some dog biscuits? Pumpkin spice. Yeah! I like it. He will. He's not fussy. I've made it to the drive through at Steak and Shake. So we're going to get this and then drive back to the hotel and eat it before unpacking the rest of our stuff having showers and all that jazz and then we can relax and it is now quarter to nine at night let's see if we can be ready in bed to go to sleep by half past 12 we'll see <laughs> hopefully i'm flagging now i'm re i'm ready for food <laughs> Ooh, pumpkin spice oreo shake no i'm gonna get a birthday cake shake Got our steak and shake. We're back in the room. I'm feeling worse than wet for wear. We're both like <laughs> flagging now. Um, mm, pure sugar. Maybe that's what I need, and then I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> no, we've still got unpack. We're just gonna eat our our burgers now. Have showers, unpack, and then we're gonna start again tomorrow. So. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this travel day, give it a little like and I will see you all in the next one when we're ready for some universal, I think we're going Islands of Adventure. Islands of Adventure fun. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully look more alive. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just say the word everywhere we go.